I'm Dr. John. This is your Maintenance Minute. Look, we're continuing our study of the storeroom, the 32 processes. We talked about ABC classification and adjusting the ABC classification model. Today, we're going to talk about one that I feel very strongly about. It's add to stock or new item setup. Hey, look, if we don't have a process for setting up items in the storeroom, here's exactly, you know, adding things to the storeroom. Let's say you want to put this in the storeroom. If we don't have a process for that, here's exactly what we get. We get somebody ripping the top off of, off of a box and laying it on the storeroom person's desk saying, hey, we need to stock 10 of these. Or you get an empty bag that says, hey, we need to stock 20 of these. Or you get the maintenance department cleaning off the workbench and putting all that crap on a pallet and taking it to the storeroom and saying, put this in inventory. Or worse, engineers after a project take all the residual work product, put it on a couple of pallets, Take it to the store and say we need to put some. We need to put this stuff in inventory. That ain't look. We're going to stop doing that. That's not how you do it. Here's a couple of things. I got my little friend here, my whiteboard. Add to stock. If you want something in the storeroom, here's a form. Here it is, right here. Fill it out. If you're the requester, you have some responsibility to kind of fill out. What is it? Where does it go? How many do you need? Where'd you get that one? How much did it cost? You know, give me some basic information, right? You got to fill out a form. Now, look, the form has. Other parts, the storeroom fills out a part of it, and then the purchasing department fills out a part of it. Every request to add something to stock has to be done in writing. My recommendation, the person who hands the form to the storeroom is the maintenance planner. I'm not saying the planner fills out the form, but the planner is the liaison to the storeroom. I don't want everybody coming to the storeroom requesting putting stuff in stock. It's the planner that does it. The planner needs to know what's going on. What They need to know what's in the storeroom. So there's a form, every request is in writing, and the information that's on that form is the same information that's gonna be typed in by the store people, typed into the item master data for that component. I suggest whatever fields you have in your computer system, those are the fields that appear on this form, right? That's how you do it. Nothing, and I mean nothing, is put into the storeroom that is not on the system. If you have a bunch of parts that you wanna put in the storeroom because you got work residue or you got things from the maintenance department that you've cleaned out the shop. Anything that you have purchased you want to put in the storeroom, you fill out a form and until it's on the computer system, it does not come in that storeroom. Hey, look, that, that area's got to be held uh, sacrosanct. We cannot put things in there that aren't on the system. You can. I'm not saying you can't stock it, but you're not going to stock it until it's put on the computer system, right? And that's the way we make sure we keep track of what's in the storeroom and only things in there that are on the system and only things in there that will actually go to pieces of equipment. Add to stock. Remember, it's a great process in writing. I'm Dr. John. This has been your Maintenance Minute.